distracted. Today we're going to do something that I meant to do a long time ago and never got around to, but I still want to do it, so we're going to do it, so let's do it. All right, so these are Nerf's latest and greatest uh, factory-made design for darts. Now these are, of course, the AccuStrike darts. These are the best Nerf darts in the world. Uh, Nerfomania's girlfriend, Red, makes these. These are commonly known as Southeast Slugs. They're made by a proprietary secret formula, and I can't tell you what makes them so very, very good, but they are pretty expensive, and each one costs us about a minute of Red's time, as well as a little bit of material. So, if there was a way to get similar performance out of AccuStrike darts, which are our latest best dart, then I think that it's worth exploring. So today we're going to be making what I call AccuSlugs. And they should be interesting. So the slug is, of course, named after a nerfer, Captain Slug, who used to be very popular and has just recently returned to us. So that's pretty exciting in and of itself. But Slug designed these. They're foam backer rod. They're solid. And they have felt tips with a slight uh, washer for metal weight and then a hot glue uh, adhesive between all of those different parts. Red makes hers a little bit differently. And as such, they're incredibly accurate and really nice. Now, this is the finest homemade blaster in the world. This is Bloodborne, my NIC style primary. And it's got a full K26, plenty of power and fires via this hopper clip. You will notice that this hopper clip is full of sweet, sweet Southeast slug goodness. So uh, luckily, Bought a lot of these at Target when they had their massive sale in our haul video, and we can make some slugs. So the plan here is to simply cut down AccuStrike darts to the required length for slugs so that they will feed through the Y on the hopper, and we can test and see how they compare in terms of both FPS and general performance and ballistics. Let's go. Measure these like this, and then we're going to Cut. The cuts don't even have to be super precise as we are just testing the general principle right now. And voila, Accus slugs. So, will these chamber at all is question number one. So let's go ahead and throw that in. Throw this on. And fire. That's not a good sign. Try shaking it, see if maybe a little bit of extra weight and removal of that dead space will help. This project may be dead from the get-go. That would be a real shame, wouldn't it, guys? Negative, Captain. It just impacted on the surface. So it looks like it might be an error in length. We'll try cutting one a little bit shorter and see if that works. All right, so we'll begin with a baseline, of course. These are the Southeast Slugs. Gonna load these up into the hopper, figure out what their average FPS is with this current humidity and uh, maintenance level, I guess. But uh, let's go ahead, lock this in. That's about where we want that. That's locked on. Alrighty, so we're gonna fire two off the chronograph and then two into the distance. 228, 231, consistent at least. Then we'll fire a couple as though there's an opponent downrange. So we just reached out and touched that tree, I guess, that we were aiming for. And that time we were just a little to the left of it, but both reached the tree, I suppose. There we go. And again, a little to the left, but those are certainly the kind of performance that I've come to expect out of this. All right, so the shorter of the AccuStrike slugs seem to feed the best, and they kind of wobble down the hopper feed, which is just a testament to how they're weighted and how they have these, these super heavy rubber tips. And then we'll go ahead and load these five. I'm trying to load the ones that are most likely to feed first and then I actually have a full length one that I didn't want to destroy for this experiment that I'm going to go ahead and chamber in the top there just for the sake of uh, removing that dead space. Now as we prime through the whole point is that if the dart will partially feed into the barrel the force of the, the rainbow will in fact push it all the way through. So let's try our crony shots first. Fail to fire. 174, so the consistency isn't that great. I am shaking it almost like an RSCB here. 158, so that's just not, 
anywhere close to the same FPS and I highly expect that that will translate to a sincere loss in range, but we'll fire at the same tree, down range, and we maybe landed five or 10 feet, hard to say at this range, in front of the tree. And that barely squeegees out of the barrel. So uh, I guess findings are inconclusive, but conclusively we can say that this is not over 220, so these are not going to be anywhere near as good as a actual homemade precision slug comparison. So as much as I really wanted this experiment to work and these guys to be fundamentally better so that we could just crank them out for arguably higher cost, but uh, way less time invested, these just aren't as good. They're, they're not as good. So I don't think that this is the future. I'm sad to report that, but I, I wanted to do it so that I would at least know if the AccuStrike darts were as good as homemade darts, and they are not. So if you're interested in how to make Steffens or Slugs, which are homemade Nerf darts, and you don't mind seeing a super cringe-tacular video from me from like five years ago, check out that link. That's a mistake, but uh, you guys can check it out, and that will uh, lead you to the past, which is still the best kind of darts that you can make. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this experiment video. Again, like experimenting with different kinds of content, but this was hard data visualized in video form. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Much love, Nerf on, Drek out.